Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're focusing on customizing the sports jerseys from our shop. We offer a ton of different jerseys for different sports, but all the templates that we do offer follow a similar layered file format. Although we'll be working with a specific jersey today, the steps I go through can apply to any jersey design from our shop. So let's get started with the essentials. When you download one of our jersey designs, you'll receive it in a zip folder. A zip folder is just a compressed file format that makes it easier to send and receive large files. It's like bundling multiple files into one, making downloads more efficient. Once you download the zip folder, you need to unzip it before you can access the individual files like the SVG. On most devices, it's as simple as right-clicking and selecting Open or Extract All, but if you aren't sure what to do, you can find the exact steps for your device on my instruction page. Inside the zip folder, you'll find various file types, but we're going to focus on the SVG file for our purposes today. Now, let's move over to Vector.com which is a free vector graphics editor that's quite user-friendly and it's perfect for what we need to do. Simply go to vector.com and hit use now to get started. Upon page load, you might encounter a pop-up that doesn't really seem to have a close button. Just click anywhere outside of it to make it go away so that you can access the editor. And now it's time to upload our jersey. Look for the upload button on the left-hand side Click on it and then navigate to wherever you have saved your file. Make sure you select the SVG file type. And then once uploaded, you might need to adjust its size to fit your project. Vector makes this process quite simple by either having you select the corners around your graphic and scaling up or down, or you can adjust the exact size in the dimension panels. If you're looking to change the jersey's colors or make other adjustments, you'll need to ungroup the layers. Simply right click on the jersey and select ungroup. This will allow you to modify each layer individually. Vector also offers a text tool with a variety of fonts, enabling you to add custom text to your jersey that way if you want to. Or you can upload the SVG files for the letters or numbers that came with your download. Just adjust their size and position to your liking. Once you're satisfied with your design, head over to export at the top right of the screen. A new window will pop up where you can fine tune your export settings, like choosing the file type and setting the size. And that's it, your custom sports jersey is ready. Everything shown today works in any vector editing software, but vector.com is a great free option if you don't have access to the others. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.